what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so about two months ago i built out my first ever small form factor pc and let me tell you it's probably the best performing pc that i've honestly ever built but in that video i only really covered me building it and not actually showing you benchmarks of that computer so in today's video i kind of wanted to break down and show you some benchmarks of how the pc actually runs with the parts that are inside the pc and this honestly might be the best bang for your buck small form factor pc that you can probably buy right now so first before we get into anything here let's talk about the spec sheet i'm currently I'm currently running an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D paired up with the RTX 4070 Founders Edition. For the case, I ended up going with the Fractal Terra, mainly because of how the case actually looks like. I think the design is so minimalist and so clean. I really loved it compared to some of the other options that are out there right now. And a lot of people's concerns with small four factor PCs, which are honestly super valid, is cooling. And this PC runs pretty cool for it only having the CPU cooler in it. There's no other fans in this PC. And also the ability to adjust the spine of the pc to even have more clearance for the gpu or the cpu is is huge so the games we're going to be testing today are going to be some of the more popular games out there and i'm going to be running them on high settings and a pretty large resolution since my actual display is the odyssey oled g9 so this pc is pretty much going to get worked so we'll first start out with cs2 as it's one of my favorite games and it's probably the game that i'm playing the most right now so like i mentioned before we're going to switch everything to high settings for cs2 and this is the resolution that i'm at with my current display and honestly i'm pretty surprised with how well it runs at max settings i usually run cs2 at medium settings and we're currently averaging around 100 to 115 fps and these are the current temps with everything maxed out now switching everything over to low we see a huge increase in fps between 340 to 360 and the temps still stayed around the same which is pretty sick next up is call of duty warzone and switching everything to extreme we're averaging about 92 to 105 fps with these being our current temps which is actually pretty solid as this is more of a demanding game now switching everything over to the lowest possible settings for cod we actually only saw a small bump in fps averaging around 110 to 115 with the temps staying around the same last up is valorant and once we switch everything over to high settings we're getting around 315 to 340 fps with these being our current temps switching everything to low we got a massive bump up to 700 fps which is nuts and the temps staying around the same honestly i am so happy with how this pc turned out and the way that it performs for being such a small form factor build but let me know down below did you expect this pc to perform as good as it actually did and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one